All right, so if you're going to be putting aluminum with any type of copper or any type of aluminum, you need to use some sort of antioxidation uh, compound because aluminum creates aluminum oxide, which is a ceramic. It is an insulator, does not conduct electricity really at, really doesn't connect electricity very well. Although aluminum oxide is very, very thin, this is the issue, or this is the reason why we don't wire houses with aluminum anymore because of the oxidation layer that occurs. And when the oxidation layer occurs, you start creating a, a resistance barrier. With that resistance barrier, you create heat. And then with heat, you create fire. So you need to use some sort of oxidation, anti-oxidation compound on the aluminum surfaces whenever you're going to use it with copper or aluminum on aluminum, aluminum on copper. And there are different brands that you can use. Ideal is a different brand that works also. So what I've done is I have taken the stainless steel brush and brushed this pretty rigorously and you can see the difference. I did not brush this section right here and you can see that this section is more of a matte finish and this section is more of a gloss reflective finish, reflective finish. And that's the difference is that that we're looking at on the right side is pure aluminum, the left side is aluminum oxide and you have to quickly brush it and then put the anti-oxidation compound on it. That's what it looks like with the anti-oxidation compound on it. It's like a black nasty looking thing. So we take that, drop it on there, and then we're good to go. So there you go. You can see some of that anti-oxidation compound on the top of the screw there. Because it just happens when you just drop it down. But then I'm going to go over there to the same thing to that one over there. And then we'll have a good nickel plated copper to aluminum compound without aluminum oxide forming between them.